What's up, Aquarius? Ah, welcome to the visionary. I'm going to go ahead. This is just going to be uh, what you need to know, but we are going to be reading from the um, book Genevieve Brand, Your Invisible Power. All right, we're working with the Lamor Lenormand deck, um, the Truth deck, and the Light Sears Tarot. And I am going to just ring the bell to help just ground the energies, invoking white light to uh, come in and protect everyone in this reading, connecting you above and below. And within. <laughs> So this is just a little bit longer. We're gonna get a little bit acquainted, do a little bit more channeling, and let's see what uh, the word is, okay? Let's see what spirit and your, I, I just heard ancestor, so definitely ancestors coming through in this, all right? And also could just be uh, even friends as well that have passed on that are now watching you. So we're going to do a little book divination. I am, though, you know, it's funny, 17 is coming up. So uh, I did go to page 23. 23 has been very prevalent as well. So we will read from page 23 and uh, page 17. And also, okay, I'm being prompted. This may or may not necessarily have something to do with the reading. It might be something you just need to hear or it might be something that is going to be coming as well, okay? It says, nothing can prevent your picture from coming into concrete form except the same power that gave birth, gave it birth, yourself. Suppose you wish to have a more orderly room. You look about your room and the idea of order suggests boxes, closets, shelves, hooks, and so forth. The box in the closet, the hooks are all concrete ideas of order, vehicles through which order and harmony suggest themselves. Okay, that is from the chat. That is from the chat. The chapter, chapter two. Okay, how to attract to yourself the things you desire. So this is also you attracting true love. True love comes in all forms, not just romantic, but in fulfillment and uh, projects and products and clients um, and ideas and organizing your room and, and travel, okay? Um, yeah, and then on page 17, it says, I got to read a little bit from page 16. So definitely there's something unexpected that's going to come and it's going to bring healing. All right. So it says, let me go to the beginning of the sentence. When you realize that this method of employing the creative power brings your desires one after another. Okay. So I'll start from the first, from the last paragraph so that you get the whole gist. In visualizing or making a mental picture, you are not endeavoring to change the laws of nature. You are fulfilling them. Your object in visualizing is to bring things into regular order, both mentally and physically. When you realize that this method of employing your creative power brings your desires one after another into practical material accomplishment, your confidence in this in the mysterious but unfailing law of attraction, which has its central power station in the very heart of your word or picture becomes supreme. Nothing can shake it. You never feel that it is necessary to take anything from anybody else. You have learned that asking and seeking, you have receiving and finding as their co-relatives. You know that all you have to do is to start the plastic substance of the universe flowing into the, th into the thought. Molds your picture, desire provides. So plastic is moldable, okay? You can mold plastic. So by you taking a uh, visualizing or making a mental picture, so visualizing in your third eye or even visualizing in your heart space, you can you can visualize in any chakra that you choose, especially if, depending on what you want to bring in, okay? If you want to bring in more security and stability, visualize in your root chakra because it's gonna help you come to a place of, of, of concreteness, okay? If you want to bring in more creativity, visualize in your sacral chakra, all right? If you want to bring in 
and, and more self-love uh, or romantic love you can visualize in your um in your navel or your heart chakra okay if you yeah especially if you want to bring in relationships visualize in your navel if you want to bring in more self-love visualize in your heart chakra if you want to bring in more trust self-trust and acceptance feeling worthy and deserving visualize in your solar plexus if you want to bring in more communication or um if you want to create that uh that book or that uh that project that or you want to get that speaking gig or whatever that is or you want to be able to promote yourself, feel confident in promoting yourself, visualize in your solar plexus and then bring that visualization through your heart in into your throat, all right? And really feel it, okay? If you want to visualize something that has never been created before and you want to start from scratch, visualize in your third eye, all right? So it's like you utilizing the tools that have been given to you. Your chakras are tools for visualization, all right? Um, yeah, and I'm seeing something with crown if you want to visualize yourself mastering or opening up to receiving the master you've already gained throughout the ages of your psychic abilities then go into the crown chakra and open yourself up to receive the guidance that is needed to help activate you okay yes yes and yes this is so powerful if you want to visualize um you know your soul path or a greater sense of being aligned to your authentic self Activate that soul that soul star chakra. All right, go on up. It's a crown casual soul star, and then your stellar gateway. All right, if you want a deeper connection to to source energy, then go ahead and manifest in that stellar gateway. Go across that anaconda bridge. All right, and go into source. You know, if if you want to manifest this, um, activate to the deepest part of you. Awaken, activate the deepest part of self. Go all the way into the deepest part of your heart chakra to where your higher self lives okay go all the way in there meet your higher self and become your best friend all right become the best friend your higher self is your bestie that that's where that strong connection comes from you know unwavering faith there's been this uh idea that's been uh, coming around this morning when we're doing the readings and even before we started and it is i have I have the faith that is greater than a mustard seed, right? Because as it says, if your faith is as great as a mustard seed, you can move mountains. But now it's this energy of my faith is greater than that. It's, it's bigger than that. It's stronger than that. Every day in every way, my faith grows more and more. You know, the faith in the invisible, the faith in the unseen, the faith in, in space, this the faith within myself, the faith in the parts of me that I have yet to receive or activate too, but I know they are there. Okay, so this is also why the truth deck wanted to come out for you guys today. Here we go for Aquarius. It's, uh, yeah, I definitely feel it's going to be this. There goes the tower. Didn't we say there's going to be a tower? So here's the tower. But it's a tower. It's going to illuminate something. So it's number 19, okay? It's going to illuminate something. And I'm definitely feeling like uh, New Orleans, but I'm here in New York, Chicago. Number six. It's something that's going to bring you into a greater sense of self. It's going to activate your authentic self, help bring you into union. Um, also feeling Gemini energy, Leo energy uh, coming in as well. Um, also energy of the magician, whatever it is, you're going to transform it in, into joy, happiness, and peace. Uh, I'm feeling rainbow energy. So some of you guys might be working with Archangel Metatron at this time, or he wants to bring, uh, he wants to, he wants to come in because he's ready to help you activate that sacred heart. So that way you can have a greater connection uh, to, to Christ, to Yeshua, and um, also for you to embody Christ consciousness, not only um, within heart, but within within uh, mind, body, uh, spirit, within all 10 bodies, all 12 layers, okay, from the seat point and conception um, through all time, space, reality, and dimension. And there we go. And there goes the healing, the temperance energy coming through the patience. Um, also patience with uh, releasing the trickster energy, okay? So this is releasing projections of um, a lot of you guys, are, you're, you're super psychic, right? So 
a lot of times, um, even through clairsentience is coming up, even through touching someone, you're able, you, you receive that information. So it's about setting up boundaries, uh, putting Christ at light in the front and the back of all of your chakras. All right. And also putting it around all of your, your 10 bodies through all 12 layers, taking the time to do that. It might take 14 minutes to go through, um, all 12 chakras and to go through all 10 bodies, all 12 layers, you know, and just visualize that and accept that protection and that peace. So that way you know what energy is yours and what energy is not yours. And this also is not only is it going to help you come into a greater patience for who you are, but it's going to bring you awakening to, to what your true path is, what your true inspiration is, what your true fire is. All right. So, um, the trickster energy is coming in because, um, you may have been following something that wasn't actually your, uh, your soul's idea or heart or, or, um, mm, yeah, yeah. It just, it just, it wasn't yours. And that might've been why it didn't work out. So some of you are definitely healing from disappointment and letting that go. Yeah. The garden. I love it. See the garden. Yay. So, um, this is you facing your fears and coming into alignment with number 20 and then number seven coming into your spiritual truth. So that just confirmation, um, that that is what it, you're coming into today. Um, and possibly within one to seven days after seeing this reading. All right. And I feel like there's going to be at least seven moments and I look, I put four, but it's going to be seven moments. Okay. That you're going to have to face your fear, but it might be little tiny fears that you didn't know you were afraid of but you're going to face it and it's going to bring you into union it's going to bring you into um a deeper connection with your inner child a deeper connection with your feminine energy a deeper connection with your masculine energy and a deeper connection with your higher self and that brings you into christ consciousness all right that is the cross and in the middle of that cross is your sacred heart okay at least that's how i see it okay that's that's how that's how i see it so um snake energy so uh, this is beautiful the archetype of the snake coming in to help support you queen energy so divine feminine coming in very strong divine feminine collective but also um this is your ancestors all right this is your ancestors coming in to activate you and awaken you uh to your spiritual path and also more spiritual uh there's an inheritance, a spiritual wealth that is going to be coming in. You might be seeing the number 99, uh, triple nines or quadruple nines a lot. And when you see that, you can say that um, spirit, uh, supernatural wealth follows me. All right. Yes. And know that you're truly protected in all that you do. And I'm seeing this energy of sevens come through. So 14 is seven, seven. Then down here with the garden, we have another seven. And then right here with the snake, we have another seven. All right. So your Kundalini is definitely rising up. You may experience uh, more and more um, ways and uh, moments and longer moments of bliss. Okay, can you imagine being in the bliss state for 20 minutes while you were not in meditation? Okay, while you were uh, following an inspired action, which is, I guess, kind of like a meditation. Okay, but um, can you can you feel that? Can you can you feel yourself having an experience a day of heaven on earth for the entire day? Can you can you do that for two days? That's this incredible alignment and balance and happiness and peace and tranquility that you are about to experience in your life. All right, but you have to be open to receive it and you also have to be willing to release and surrender every day. And, and it's, it's not even like an every day, it's just, it's an embodiment, all right? When you are in a state of surrender, you are in a state of peace and trust, okay? That is enlightenment. So also, um, I feel a lot of you, you might be working your Bantu chakra right now. It's a chakra right uh, like below. It's still on top of your head, but it's a chakra right like in back of your crown chakra. And you might be working on that, um, helping to release your throat and bring down that, that nectar. So there's nectar within your sacral chakra. Um, okay. There's nectar there, your, you know, your peach chakra. There's also this beautiful nectar of, um, of, uh, how do you explain it of God of heaven um, of source a sweetness a tenderness that you bring down and uh, revitalized you it regenerates you in all ways okay mm -hmm. yeah so that's also a blessing that's coming in this blessing of like immortality 
okay fish 34 so we are in cancer season and there's another seven guys wow wow and we are in cancer season so this is also confirmation of what we just talked about um, opening that throat chakra up by activating the bentu chakra and bringing that sweet nectar down okay there's how many fish here there's three fish here and it's a king so um in this king queen so maybe you're manifesting a counterpart okay uh with these energies being side by side like this and also with the energy of the three coming in as well with the fish and maybe this person is um they're either like a, a queen a king of uh cups and maybe you there's this energy of you embodying uh like freya energy okay so um and also nadia energy um artemis energy i'm feeling with this a lot i'm definitely feeling a lot of fire like a sagittarian energy so you might have that highly aspect in your chart or you might be working with one of those goddesses at this time um also there's definitely going to be celtic uh activation codes coming in okay abundance magic coming in for you guys also um i always this is this is this is my interpretation right so i always see the snake as well as abundance because for me the snake uh in the especially in this reading it's representing um it's not representing uh, the serpent like adam and eve to me this is truly um even though this tree is here and it seems like it's not abundant for me this is truly uh, opening you to your kundalini energy because this snake to me is going past it's going up it's rising up and it's connecting in all right i, I feel it's like the mighty python so definitely do um if you're familiar with the moon with key rites uh shamanism if you're familiar with uh this the serpent archetype um uh, go reread that or do your uh, archetypal meditations or maybe this is something for you to go and explore and discover okay also, I feel that at this time, Aquarius, I honestly feel now is the time for you to learn about cancer energy, okay? It's definitely the time to learn about it and understand the, the, the superpower of the zodiac cancer. I feel that coming through very strongly. And it might be because some of you are opening to your empathic, your clear sentience, okay? Um, very, very strongly. Like, um, I just feel that coming through the fish yeah and it's weird because they're fish you would think that i'd be feeling like pisces right now um i feel like pisces is holding space for you guys um which i'm, I'm pisces sun right so uh holding space for you guys but i definitely feel it's this cancerian energy of of really coming into this like uh this super balance uh within the emotional body that is allowing you to come and to surrender to trust surrender yeah but yeah 13 the child yeah and there goes the scorpio energy the j okay so inner child is getting healed at this time as well and i feel like it's more than that i feel like the inner child i feel like she's come to say i'm healed and i'm ready to open i'm ready for this new adventure i'm ready for this rebirth like she's definitely her eyes she's in peace Okay, so the work you've been doing, it's confirmation that you've, you've come into wholeness. All right, so that's also why psychic abilities are going to increase and amplify as well, because she's released you, okay? Or you've released her, okay? Or him, however, take out resonates. Um, and then the tree, yeah, there, I told you, infinite abundance, right? So that's why I was seeing the serpent as like uh, this kundalini, because there goes the transformation, the orange energy, and the five, all right? And there's also an, another seven, so huge awakening coming in. And there goes uh, the infinity sign also for Archangel Metatron, so confirmation of that, okay? And also the tree represents ancestors as well. And because this tree happens to be in this green energy, I feel it's also representing uh, our self Celtic ancestors um, and Celtic magic druids. Okay. Yeah. Yes. New moon intentions. Uh, there's this energy of saying like, I intend to, to open and to accept and to claim um, my magic in all ways. I love that. I love that. Yeah. 24 thief. And that's because there's been things around you. That's the tower. What has been stealing your energy? Vampires, people around you, families, friends, um, a man, a woman, a child, um, 
Okay, these things, uh, even like this energy of having sex with lots of people, I don't think that that is you, but if it is, they've been stealing your power, right? They've been, and they've been hooking and draining you. So it's like about cutting cords now uh, from past sexual partners, okay? And uh, not only claiming, like calling your power back, but accepting it. I call and accept all of my power and energy back from every sexual partner, um, from the C point of conception, through all time, space, dimension, and reality, through every I am present now, you know, so be it. Yeah, change, nine is on the bottom. So a movement is coming in, but I feel like this is, the nine for me is representing um, the divine feminine, and it's also, and this, there goes the nine, nine, there it is right there that we said, but this also is the energy of activating uh, to the deepest part of yourself, okay, and healing that, so this change is coming in, the energy of the four has been definitely prevalent as well, so more stability, more security, because now you're feeling so damn safe and protected in your own body. In your own body it's one thing to feel safe and protect it while you're like astral traveling and da, 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 da. but for you to feel safe and protect it while you are present it change it changes the game it changes the game okay yeah expectation so 28 28 has been huge as well um she's waiting on something so there's something in the garden that you've been waiting to grow and this garden the door is opening okay so the abundance is about to come through to you so again there's this energy of just be open to receive to receive it i'm open to receive abundance in all ways here and now you know and and i'm so grateful and appreciative for abundance in all ways here and now yes and always Ooh, didn't we tell you marriage union so uh, this is definitely confirmation of kundalini coming up um and you coming into union with your own energy a power i also just heard powerhouse and power couple so take that how it resonates you might be like a super psychic powerhouse but you also might be um again remember this queen right you might be meeting um your counterpart all right coming up yeah it could be anywhere from um you might know this person or you might be receiving a message. There's just like three minutes, three hours, three days, three weeks, three months, okay? Um, or also you might have been waiting for three years for something to come in or for your energy to really clear, doing a lot of like self-love work um, for three years, you know? And remember that when you are loving yourself, a lot of times this, this energy, if it's something that you desire, it is preparing the way for your counterpart, your kingdom counterpart, not twin flame, your kingdom counterpart to come in. Okay. Yeah. And I see three and three with this four and four is also representative of four of wands, you know, like that marriage contract is what they're showing me. All right. And this energy of mastery. And I feel like it's been on both sides. 36, yeah, distance, distant horizon. So definitely your king, kingdom counterpart, which is also the king energy, is, is on their way. They're coming, 36. So um, the angels, the divine, they're, they're working with this. Your angel guides are working to heal the relationship and bring you into your uh, kingdom counterpart, your life partner energy. Now remember, your life partner not, may not always be a romantic partner. It may just be that, that kind of ride or die loyal, non-attachment kind of energy where you get to experience a higher love right yes ah beautiful unexpected income so many of you are definitely meant to make uh additional income um based on your psychic abilities okay or just your intuitive abilities all right and it's, it's something is going to come in something's going to hit for you so be open to receive it whenever you're seeing your twos i'm ready to receive i'm ready to receive whenever you see those twos claim that if you see uh 222 it's uh two o'clock um claim it okay claim it claim it i claim it because it's your destiny all right and this also with this can't this is also why spirit wants you guys to learn about cancer um energy the zodiac energy all you can about it because um the seven is here as well and it's cherry it's movement so there's going to be some medicine in that for you okay definitely medicine in that for you 
yeah house in 20 so some of you have a fear of moving you have a fear of moving location some of you might have a fear of abundance of receiving i see uh vows and agreements as like monks and nuns past life en energy that you need to go ahead and burn with the violet flame okay so call in saint germain archangel zadokil in to to help uh burn that transmute that energy even michael can help with that as well so that way you can release that and um, if the opportunity arises for you to shift to move all right it could be a mindset it could be physical it could be a heart set it could be a, a belief okay but it's going to be a move in some kind and i feel like it's definitely a raise okay there's this energy of breaking the glass ceiling so it's um going from i am limit limited because to i am un unlimited right because limited possibilities exist for me so this is facing any fears even if you're dealing with with the home all right your home is guarded i see the gate so there's something that within your heart that you're guarding that you need to face okay mm -hmm. because guarding and garden there it does it that's the synchronicity with the g's all right so g might be important to you gg all right somebody's grandma might be coming through as well um so this is definitely something that you might know uh tom thomas is coming through carson is coming through um matt carly is coming through i don't know why carly jensen or jepson i think her name is she's coming through there might be a song in that for you guys um heart is coming through all right i just heard broken heart all right but this is getting healed I feel that or it is healed and you just have to claim that my heart is healed. You know, I'm unbroken. I'm unbroken. Yeah. There's a wand coming through. Um, the Wicked Witch of the West. The Wizard of Oz is coming through strongly. Definitely the Wicked Witch. Um, when they sing that song. Ah. Um. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Witch is dead. Dun, dun, dun. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so there might have been a hold from a stepmom or a female figure that you have released now. You've healed from that. And also, I was looking at my past notes last night, and um, like a week ago, the collective was healing mother, father. Um, all right. And then last week, it's like, or this week, because I, you know, me channeling, uh, healing the father, healing the masculine. All right. So um, many of you are now coming into where you receive, you're receiving your power back because you've disconnected from an emperor like feminine. In, uh energy okay yeah one that was mis misusing abusing their power okay this also might have been within yourself as well that you've recognized and you've transmuted the energy i just saw nine of cups on the bottom so we're gonna let's get some outcome cards moving forward moving forward a lot of energy coming through a lot of butterflies yeah look there's there's confirmation of that you're now being aligned to your true love to your soul all right when you're aligned to your soul connected to your soul everything else aligns and you are able to live heaven on earth every single day because you are in true alignment queen of swords um i feel like your heart is opening you haven't cleared a sermon and you're also speaking your truth all right for some of you there's this energy of just practicing i speak my truth from a place of compassion and love all right yeah oh there it is there's another wow another counterpart king of swords so we have a queen king here and then we have queen king here whoa get ready get ready because when you come into alignment with self you come into alignment with with all your wishes fulfilled you know and notice i didn't say dreams come true right dreams come true can be a piscean energy where you uh, stay daydreaming all the time and you don't take action but wishes fulfilled means that i'm taking action on every in inspired intuitive hit because i know it's already mine I accept that it's already mine. Yeah, four swords, rest. So this is also the energy of um, you not worrying about a partnership, if this is something that you've been manifesting for yourself, um, or any of that. You releasing your mind, you doing your meditation, and letting that go. But also remember from Genevieve um, Brand, which 
look up the meaning of her name, Genevieve, all right? It might be important for you. I'm also feeling this Guinevere energy, so King Arthur energy. And remember, they were true loves, right? And they had to go through a lot before um, they were able to be together, but they did. And... Um, so there's this energy of visualizing, not visualizing a person, but an energy, okay? And what it would feel like to be with that, uh, with that true love, with that person that loves you unconditionally unconditionally, full acceptance, but also bring it to um, that product, that project, that job, um, that business, um, that perfect partnership, that, that, uh, perfect partnership with you, your, yourself, your best friend, your higher self, you know, being your best friend with your inner child. So, okay. It's like coming full circle in all these areas. Yeah, it is. And then we have the full coming out, you doing the trust fall, trusting spirit. All right. So this is also whenever this, um, for some of you, it's different for all of you, right? It might be a counterpart, but it might be a project. It might be an idea. It might be a dream come true. I get to travel the world and get paid for it. You know, whatever that is, right? Um, it's you trusting, you just trusting and you having, you being self-empowered there's also an amethyst in the hand so you're also having uh mental clarity as well all right so um if you're not holding your amethyst in your hand um while you're walking she definitely has like um a wand in her hand a walking stick then start doing that all right in your uh in your left hand or your non-dominant hand your receiving hand okay yeah you're gonna get um not only gonna get more uh clearing and upgrades through that but you're going to get your intuitive hits as well and this brings look at this this brings you a new beginning all right um in confidence it brings you a new beginning in non-attachment when you are not attached to the expectation everything that um you wish was fulfilled is fulfilled because now it doesn't matter how or when you're just open to receive it and it actually comes faster all right because you release the resistance yes Yeah, and this brings you into full balance, all right, in the physical plane, which is beautiful because you're able to go in between the worlds but keep your energy balanced, all right? Um, powerful with the twos. And look at this. You, you are in your power. You are in your power, you know? I claim who I am fully, you know, unapologetically, compassionately, powerfully, you know? There's this energy of uh, innately and this empowerment, you know, um, authentic. So maybe those are words that you want to start just like saying um, authentic, uh, powerful, um, innately empowered, you know, as well as grateful, um, appreciative. Thank you. I love you. I forgive you. Um, you know, and these are just like moments. These are just like moments. And you're like, I just need like a little moment. I need a little, I need a little mind break for a second. I'm just going to say these uh, super powerful words to myself in my mind. And I'm going to let myself detach from um, expectations, but I'm going to attach to healing to my source. All right. You pulling down um, all of that power, you know, there's also, this is, this looks like a wishbone to me. I never saw that before, a wishbone. So again, this is you really feeling um, your wish fulfilled, okay? So Wayne uh, Dyer, I believe, I don't know. I always say, sometimes I say dryer, but I think it's Dyer. Um, he has a book and it's called, um, I believe it's like the wish, wish is fulfilled. Yeah, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful book. Um, I walked, we walked, and we listened to the whole book, and we just walked the whole time, and it was very powerful, so that might be something, if any of you guys um, can make space for something like that, or another book that you, um, that you might be guided to walk and listen to, okay? Um, I feel like it's going to clear the space, and I feel like Wayne actually wants to come in and activate you um, to... Uh, a higher level of manifestation power and um 
also I think there's definitely some Celtic connection there because I know that um, when he was doing his the Saint Germain discourses and he was lecturing and things like that that he did a lot of lecturing over in the UK and so there might be um, some kind of relationship between you tapping into your golden abundance your magical abundance and um, you receiving blessings and um, upgrades from uh, the Druids and um, uh, Celtic magic and um, also Irish as well you know you might be seeing clovers or you might be Irish I definitely feel there's Irish there's a group of uh, Irish grandmothers that um, it's funny because it's like tree magic okay guys so it's like um, I feel them here I feel them here I feel them here but it's like Stonehenge energy but it's different it's like definitely Druid um, Celtic magic and um, herbology, um, mixology, essential oils, that kind of stuff. I really feel like your magic is going to get stronger. Um, and also, therefore, if you're making products and things like that, they're going to be very potent, very strong. And I feel a lot of you guys starting to get more testimonials as well for the things that you're creating. Even if you're creating like jewelry and stuff, um, the rose is coming in strong again as well. Um, there's something with the thorns. I don't know if anybody's doing um, magic with thorns. Um, I bless my enemies. I'm protected by the thorn of the rose is what's coming through. Okay, so maybe, you know, take it how it resonates. That might be for you. It might not be for you. It's definitely for someone. Um, um, you know, and I, I have to say, uh, always practice magic with the highest intention, okay, and the highest good for everyone, all right, because um, we are no longer under karmic law, we are under the, the law of grace, but um, you have free will. All right. So the choices that you make, um, you, you, it's the choices you make. Okay. And that source is, he just wants to, he's covering this whole thing with his, his pink energy right now, because he wants to make that, that very clear for some of you guys who, um, are still coming into acceptance of all that there is and all that you are and that you are all that there is. Okay. Yes. I love you so very much. And, uh, guys, I will, I don't know if, I think, yeah, I will probably do some shorts tomorrow for you. Okay. And, um, we might take a day. I'm not sure to do another one of these big ones. Um, but we're just in flow guys. So we're just, we're just going where we're led. All right. So, oh yes, I forgot to mention if anyone, um, I do all kinds of healing work, but in light language activations as well. Um, and also if you want a personal reading and um, and if anyone is doing shadow work, I am I am more than uh, happy to support you doing that. You know, there was a comment that was made on uh, one of the videos and it was just about um, not knowing why things are happening, you know, and I can definitely teach you how to tap in to uh, your higher self, how to clear the confusion and um, you know, so that way you're never in a state of, of uh, asking why, because you just, you just know, you know, and if there's a reason that you don't know, you trust uh, the path. You trust that it's always going to lead you to your highest and greatest good. Um, we can do that work in tarot reading. We can also do that work in an energy healing. Um, of course, if we do an energy healing session, that's going to be more of uh, Reiki and uh sacred geometry and light language healing okay guys and also i do mediumship readings as well um where basically your your whoever comes through for you um <clears throat> excuse me, yeah, uh, throat chakra clearing, whoever comes through for you, they help to facilitate the, the reading, okay, so we get information from them, but they also help to uh, support and help you on your rise, and help you to fully embody um, your, your, your purpose, your you, okay, uh, everything's in the description box, and yeah, all right, bye.